I mean, okay, this is an yeah. urban city. Okay. Then, all the cities are urban. Let's no? imagine. No, not all the cities. Okay. That's exactly. <laughs> this is this is uh, a rural city. Okay. Okay. Good. Another rural city. That we have. All we know that it's a phenomenon or a tendency that people from rural cities or rural areas or whatever came here, okay. right? Why? why? Why I came here? This is like my first uh, question. So almost everybody knows that they are looking for a better quality of life, right? Mm -hmm. So, but my, that's my first challenge, to look for a um, um, my own definition about quality of life. Um, it's a challenge because you know there's a no uh, there's there's no uh, unique definition that can describe uh, uh, quality of life in all the cities in all the world. But I wa I want to try it. If not, to have like um, key elements or something like that. Um, what else? Um, if they are, if people are looking for a better quality of life, do that goes through my question. Do they really have a good quality of life here? No, no, but it's, we it's don't know. less bad than there. We don't know. We don't know okay. because. Here, there are pollution, less time for, for uh, recreation, I don't know, some um, less time for being with their families, um, less time, or, there are a lot of elements that, for me, I think that sometimes this is not quality of life. So, uh, my second point to, to, in order to get to my question is, there's a topic that I really uh, enjoy since many years. And I have been working on this. That maybe this will give me like um, some clues um, about migration. If people here have no quality of life, they are looking here. There's there's a, a responsibility about the government. Like for me, one of the most or the principal actors um, to that can give or not quality of life here. So, if government can do something here, maybe government can do something here too. Okay. So, the, this is the third point: the responsibility or the role for government. I don't know how to uh, pose my question, but for me it's like, do people really find quality of life in, in urban cities? Maybe in the future of that, my conclusion will give me more questions, I think. Because Probably the answer is going now. Hmm? Quality. There, there are more the quality of life outside. It's going out. How? No, but, but no, I, I mean, you can, you can look at this purely from the perception of the people. I mean... Uh, that's why I'm going to... One of the... For here, sorry. Sorry, I forgot to do that. For this, to, for this I will uh, make a research. A literature research. Okay. Yeah. And for this, I think... Mm -hmm. I have to make so field investigations in Mexico. We have uh, I have near near people that came from rural areas to the city, and I have many rural areas around my city. So maybe interviews and field and field field um, field research, field research and interviews. What? You can also make interviews with people who move to. An urban city, and then they go back. back to yeah. their hometown. So yeah. that would be useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should you should interview my father. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's always saying that the perfect the perfect life is living in a farm 
with your chicken, your cow, your own but milk. But he never goes back to the farm. Yeah. He's always saying that at the end of the day, he wants to live in a farm with the own corn, chicken, and eggs. Yeah. No car, no television, no technology, nothing. He said that that is the, the best, the best life. And he's a married man. No, but I mean, I mean, I wanted to get at that. Yeah, you can you can interview the people who live in the village and have not yet migrated to the city, and they will give you a percept of what they expect there. You can interview the people who live in the city and have migrated. And, you know, they can. I think that, that that's. You can point. interview the people who went back because you know. Yeah, I mean, that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that exists. Yeah, yeah. And as a conclusion, I also want to know. <laughs> Um, this is this is just research. Yeah, but I'm not and clear about that question. What does government do there? Because it has to be with my conclusion. Okay. Okay. Government are, are investing here a lot of infrastructure or trying to do everything better, but sometimes they forgot these rural areas, and that's why part of the problem is that uh, they don't have uh, some services, so they migrate here. So. Uh, the responsibility of government goes to, if government, I'm thinking in, in, in the future, if government, we, we all know about the consequences of, of urban cities, but I'm not sure if it's the best option for people. If 80% of the people will be here in the next years, what if government can do something for best here in order to reduce in thinking globally to reduce, for example, in uh, pollution or I don't know, to to strong, fortalecer. I, I don't know. Um, to strong, make strong. Get strong. To get strong, for example, these areas. Um, They're stronger. I, I think we have been talking about about this in, on on the EU's program because we are always saying that. The tendency, the future, it's like urban system, great urban system, but that's the tendency. But is is that the the best option? Yeah. For, yes. can be, no, but can we, we have not said that. that, that I mean, we have not said that, it. We yeah, just yeah, yeah, we no. observe that the you know the statistically tendency. that's that how it be. is. That doesn't mean the life is better there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably that, that could be a good question. That will be part of my conclusion. How is your question again? The tendency is like people living in urban system, in, in yeah. big or large urban system. That's the tendency. Yeah. But is that the best option? Probably can be a good question. Yeah. I like the question. The best, how, how, how can I pose it? Is the best? The question maybe is I, I'll repeat my question. Yeah. Do people really find a better quality of life in urban cities? Yeah. But, but there is more this? subjective. Yeah, because we are not saying that that in the cities or in large urban system you would be you will find a better quality of life. We are we are always saying that that's the tendency. The yeah. tendency is that people go to large urban system, but the question can be going to large urban system guarantee or a better quality, a of, better life? quality of life i like that question but that's that's a little bit subjective you know and, and i just wanted to say that you, know, you really deal with perception of the people you know in this migration that you said you have this push and pull factor okay yeah there are some factors in the city that people perceive is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason, you know, they, they make the decision based on the perception. Absolutely. They that's just the, perceive the it's factor. better. Okay? Mm -hmm. So your, your, your idea, I like it very much. You know, you, you become with the definition of the people. What is quality of life? Are they really clear or not? Okay, if you interview, it's not only research. If you interview with the people, what do they think is the quality of life? Then you might come to conclusion that okay, they they don't have a clear view why they need weight because 
because they don't really they don't really see their quality of life in the city, but they have a general general tendency just to go there, even though they are not sure. And it is very very context dependent. Yeah. You know, the, the, yes. If you ask the people today, it's different from ten years ago, from fifteen exactly. years ago, um, from in twenty years. I, I if you ask the rich people, it's different from the poor people. But if I, you ask the farmers, it's different exactly. from the workers. In order to mm -hmm. to I can't lose myself mm -hmm. here. I have a um, human rights background, mm -hmm. so maybe I can go through there. I don't know. Okay. Right. Human rights. Mm -hmm. it, it, I. Um, this mean, is a what for? I mean, what, what do you what mean? Is it? What, what do you mean? How does that? I mean, does that mean that people migrate to the city because? No, no, no. To, to this point. Yeah. Why? Um. Like the rules. Yeah. Like to to don't lose rules. myself, like the framework. For example. So uh, quality of life uh, is more uh, freedom. And, no, no, no. For example, know? right of. Uh, the access of water, okay. the right okay. of housing, the right of uh, education, okay. things like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, a like defining the rules. Okay. Yeah. okay. No, I mean, it, that it, you can it, do. That's think, fine. You I can think, say, okay, that's quality of life. I uh, think it's it's a way to, gener can, mm -hmm. to generalize because human rights are like yeah, yeah. global, are for everybody. Okay. So. But you know, if, if, if you come with a, with a good definition based on the interview research that what do people really perceive as quality of life? And then go to them and check, you know, check the condition. Okay, in this, in this village there is really no school that people can get trained. So this is the reason they go. But you might go to them and see that, okay, all the measures that I they are saying about up. quality of life is there. You no, know, they have they have water, they have the education, they have everything. So there is there is there is just there is just some 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 other elements which you can better find. That's where I may be which which makes more. your definition of quality of it's yes. not quality of life, but you know the perception of quality of life yes. much more richer. Yeah. Then then you, you you can you can argue that okay, this is what people think is quality of life for them. But if you go one level deeper, when they make the decision. Then you come up that okay, these these are the new elements that are missing, and then you can go to the government and tell them that okay, you see people tell you that this is the quality of life, water, blah blah blah, and the government probably do the water education in the village, but not the thing that is really in the back of the mind of the people. Yeah. And then you can you can have very 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 okay. concrete recommendation to them that okay, take care of these four which you never see. But, but basically, your research is about. What are the reasons of migrating to the city? Um, no? No. What government can no. do in order to stop migration? No. Okay. Yeah. To answer so, this, you need to know that. Why people migrate yeah. to, to... If the reasons... If, if I, I, I start from the point that People migrate because they don't have quality of life, and they think that they will find it in urban okay. cities. Okay. So, for me, I, I'm not sure so, so, about that. So, so, okay. Is it? Yeah, but, but it's not really a question. I mean, you already know the answer. I, I don't know. No, but I mean, you 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 have the you you think that actually. They, they made an error. They they yeah. they migrated to the city because they, of, quality, because of, of life. quality of life. But you know now it's, they are there. It's a, there is a perception gap. You know you perceive something which doesn't exist. Yeah. But but why do you perceive yeah, so? so? But that's what she thinks. Exactly. American dream. Okay, it's American dream. dream. Okay. Now yeah. now Last on that time. basis, what is the Somebody question? Then the question could be, why don't they go back? No. The question, no, because okay. maybe they find quality of life there. Okay. So okay. So because you don't for know. they quality of life is different. What they okay. find. Okay. So, so the, you don't but, think but the question. So we don't have a question. No. Yeah, there is one. I would say that you don't have a question. No. No. I no, agree. but maybe they, what you because said is maybe they find something else than what everybody thinks. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
What, it's, what it's, do they it's, find? It's objective. <laughs> you need a question that you can prove yeah. or you can not prove. No, so no, but it's a good, it, it is a question. Go ahead. I think that you have to define quality of life. But for example, some people move to the urban city because it's near from the work. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not really for the quality. Ah, it, it transforms quality of life because now I don't spend one hour to get to my job. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Could be. So it's not quality of life. Yeah. I think I think you need I think yeah. you need to no, make just some commodity. research mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have your question. big question. I don't no, know, no, no, but the, the what is quality of life. <coughs> no, it's but the question it's the, very difficult because of Lorena says. It's not just quality of life. Yeah. The, some of them just migrate because of the okay. circumstances, yes. but not some looking for choice. quality of life. Maybe some of, some of them. So that's why it's so general and, and subjective. I maybe think the question. Maybe most. maybe the question is more useful in that terms if you look for the government knows the reason in order to invest. In, in the other, in the in the other rural, yeah, but that's a consequence, system. you know. Once you know that, but I mean, is the question what, what are the non-quality of life reasons for migrating to the yes. city? Nah. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. what, well, what are okay. other reasons than yes. quality of life for yes. migrating to the city? I'm yeah. sure there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, that's no? yeah, that's true. Maybe you're homosexual and you cannot live in your village. You know, maybe the government has taken your land away. You cannot stay there anymore. I mean, there are plenty of <laughs> there are plenty of other reasons yes. that that or climate change <laughs> or yeah, yeah or or no? someone has told you property. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, the government just stole your property, you know. Yeah. Yes. Or nobody is there. It's like there's there's a lot of of yeah. ghost town because yeah. everybody yeah. no more social life. Everybody home. already gone. I think that the, that the question needs to be like there more. Reason. Yeah. You know? More specific in order to not get lost because yeah. of the different reason and yeah. quality of life is so general. Yeah. So. So here to be Maybe cool. welfare, for example, it, it would be great to like make a survey, I think, in, in for this uh, question, like a hundred people, I don't know, two hundred people, or something like that. But as a there conclusion, be, yeah, a questionnaire or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. As a conclusion, what is the same question as as mom asking you? <laughs> Who do you want to read your paper? Yeah. If, if the paper is for the government, maybe it's more interesting to know how government can like stop migration and looking for better quality of life of all the citizens in different definition of quality of life. If it's for citizens, if you want to say to them, don't migrate, you are better here. It's like the question could be like, uh, Quality of life is really better at, at the urban system. I don't know, depends on who wants to read your paper. I, I should correct myself. You, I think you cannot define the quality of life because it's, 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 it's quite it's a long list. Okay? You cannot really interview people and you know come with some concrete dimensions which are quality of life because everyone will add something. But maybe if you you only look at the neck at the things which are which are missing. You know, what is not yet there? You know, for everyone there are a lot of things that are important, but it's very personal. But maybe if you come with the things that does not exist in these rural cities as you call them, yes. that push the people mm -hmm. you know, to, to go there then, then then you can come with some kind of it's a manageable amount of work because, as you said, if, if you want to also do the what's quality of life, what is missing, then it's too much. But but before defining even what quality of life is, just you can just ask people why why what is not there in the city in the rural city that they want to move. Yeah. Then you will come with a list of I don't know. Sir, so, um, I have a other point of view, but. Sometimes like don't uh, don't write it down. I, I was not clear yet. 
Are you just misleading? <laughs> I'm not running <laughs> I'm running my okay. ideas about what you said. <laughs> Good. No, because that was that was just you said. No, no. And like urban planner, I sometimes uh, ask me. Uh, people want to go to live to the city. Yeah. A city need the people for continue growth because uh, cities um, uh, has a, a large infrastructure, a large you know, is is obvious. Okay. Okay. And, and need more uh, cities and more people for yes. for continue. It is a uh, inertia. Or, or uh, really, people like to go to the city. No? Maybe it's really subjective, because if you ask ask me the question, is uh, I like living in the city, mm -hmm. but uh, I need uh, a kind of city for li for living, N not not uh, any city. Maybe uh, maybe I I. Lifestyle? Uh, eh? Lifestyle? Yes. So, so, right. I need a city like uh, me, like woman, uh, feel security, no? feel safe. Every, every time. I, I, but uh, other other person, other people need uh, other activities. Yes, or other activities. No? Uh, so some people go to the city for tutor, no? for the, for. Um, only in, in large cities, only in cities, you found a theater, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. like New York, like uh, no, it's inside global cities. Other other people goes to the uh, immigration. Um, global warming is uh, is the sixty One. people, sixty percent of the immigration is for is for global for global global it's warming. Cool. Because uh, maybe I am uh, African and I live near the lake and fish uh, for uh, live and the lake is not it's more, no? Because mm -hmm. it's right. Just, mm, mm, I think that uh, people go to the city for many different uh, things, not for not for quality of life. Because um, for for uh, many for one people in Africa or one nothing. Family in Africa, quality of life is only uh, only Try eat what? today and, and tomorrow and no? and only in New York is uh, go one one once a week to see the the, the movie or theater or uh, participate in uh, like, no? I think it's very different. It's, it's objective quality of life for me. <coughs> But in your case, you are not living in a rural area, so you you choose this city or this city or this city, yes. and you already live in a in a yes. city. Yes, uh, it's, it's different for uh, for the for all the all the other uh, no maybe people say I ah, know it's my family. I know. It is my family. I think. Or or maybe. Is uh, maybe is is the uh, I don't know work or some or income. El tema está bien chido, pero quién quieres que lo vea? Para quién quieres que sea útil? Porque ahí está la formulación de la pregunta. Orientarlo hacia la el porqué la razón y la gente migra. Who do it right? Mm -hmm. I have to eat yeah, something. Yes, so I'm good.
I think that the, in but most of these you can, you can have more, you can spend more time with your family in small cities. I, I completely disagree with your point because I used to live, I used to live in, in a small city, like in a rural city, and I used to have more, more time to, mm -hmm. to share with my family, with my friends, but there's another thing that you can you can find in a large urban system or in a big city that you cannot find on on, on a small rural city area. like a, like a, like better schools or yeah but that, that you know? is because you can you can work in the in the in, in the a small city but if you don't have work you have to go to the to the city, yeah. But you don't want that too. I think that is very subjective. subjective because yeah. what is what is a good job? Paying more money, for example. For some people, boys for some people that is working to live close. Yeah. Or to do whatever they want. No. When you have a job, you have to work for the money. That you get from the work is is the 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 principal. Uh, but for yeah, but, you, but these are all. These can all be translated in what Liz is naming quality of life. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. This. Yeah, this. This. That is the pen quality of life. Because people, for example, in Venezuela, most of the people uh, try to work in the capital. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, they get more money. And you have the the, the best uh, university, and you have competitive. So that doesn't mean in this way that it's not quality of life. But when you have more money, you can get other things that could be your quality of life. Mm -hmm. You know? In they the change the definition of what quality of yeah. life is. They yeah. change. migration studies you know people not not the city but people migrate to another country they know they will have a less quality of life but their kids will have a better quality of life you know I mean right it, it's to uh, you know no it, it's a lot about the hope mm -hmm. You know, yeah. some, someone said that, you know, if, 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 yeah, if you don't have the hope, then the quality of life is not there. But, you know, how can you, man, how can you measure hope? You, know, you, you, you go there because you have, because you hope that things will be better. Yes. I think quality of life is like happiness. You cannot really get no, no, no. perceived, yeah. Something. For example, many of the people are migrating right now from Venezuela because it's not a safe country. <coughs> so the family are divided, uh, divided, family. And, but for them, uh, they have a quality of life uh, far away from their family. You know? So they feel safe in another country. So the quality of life change. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. It's very ambitious what you're trying. To do. <coughs> but but you should stick to your questions somehow. But but you have to make it doable, you know. So I think I think I think you can do it. You know, you you, you have a clear idea of what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But you just I mean it, it, you probably will have a little bit of a generalizability question. You can what can you do? You can interview twenty people. Maybe you can dish out a questionnaire to two hundred people, you know, maybe something like this. But you cannot I mean you cannot generalize on 
but but this is what what all others are also doing. You know, it, it's it's not a weakness. You know, you do it for your for your city. I think at the first stage. Yeah, I can yeah. take that yeah. that case. Yeah. Yeah. You do it for your city, and then you can generalize to yeah. Mexico because because that this is really cultural. You know. Probably even Latin America. Mexico may be Latin America, but you know the generalizability. You know, is not the biggest the <clears throat> biggest challenge. It's, it's just to manage not to get lost among yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. and, and I have to take out external factors yeah. for, about migration issues, a war, uh, yeah, global yeah, exactly. warming, things like yeah. that, take it out. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we are trying, right now in Guadalajara, we are trying to re-densify the city. Exactly. So probably, probably that, that could be um, Technical good decision, but what is the opinion about the, the people' opinion or the citizens' yeah, opinion yeah. about this? Mm -hmm. Probably they don't want it. Technical decision, fine. Social decision, not fine. Yeah, you're really working from the perception of the people. Yeah, but yes. you, you know, you you, you come you come with a very nice. The nice concept she can use it later in what you are talking about. You know, okay, we want to redensify Guadalajara, but these these elements which are important to 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 persuade people to migrate from the the villages to the city it does not exist in Guadalajara. So so you, we should do something here. You know, if if you come up with this with yeah. this with this gap, then you can you can play with it in in quite a lot of ways. Yeah. Yes. Savopan is a best example that uh, migration. 75% of the municipality ground for migration is, is people migration. Mm -hmm. So we large migration um, in the times is only 25% is uh, people from Savopan. And, and also and almost the 50% of the Savopan citizens live mm -hmm. in rural areas inside the municipality. Mm -hmm. This is the, muni the municipality border, mm -hmm. not in the in the mm -hmm. urban area that is different in Zapopan. But, but the urban area is growing. Yeah. So that, that's, that's another issue. Now you have a problem. Okay. I will change okay. my topic. Oh, it's it's <laughs> no. good. I mean, it's good. you have it's enough good. for for sort of reformulating. Okay. <laughs> you you should stick to that question. It's good. Yes. Okay, I don't know. Miguel, vamos a hablar de todos nuestros temas. So, my big question is that what are the essential, essential management elements in order to achieve good governance? Okay. So, I, I think that the first step is identify the element as the most for good governance. When I define the elements of the good governance, I, I have to see la, like something like that. There is good governance. And then I have to define where is the the element as most as a good governance. And when I have this, I need to work in the elements to management this good governance. You know, like okay, give an example. What what would you put there? For example, Here. so what is the definition of the good <coughs> governance? I have a um, quality of life, mm -hmm. or I have good transportation, okay. for example, or good mobility or urban mobility. That's a, consequence. That's a consequence of, so it's of social government. participation. Or civic participation. Okay. No, you can you can refer to World Bank. You know they have quite a lot. But they have indicators of good governance. But yeah. mobility, these kind of stuff, I think, are 
it's the consequence usually, of good yeah, government. Yeah, exactly. Conceived as the consequence of... Of good, of yeah. good government. Yeah. Even social participation. Social you know, participation. It, it, is a consequence? It's, it's something in the middle, exactly, you know. But, you know, transparency is, yeah, is an element. Transparency, accountability, accountability, these kind of... Th those are elements of good governance. So, uh, how... So, for example, but if, if you get a good urban system, uh, okay. the function, the service, mm -hmm. is not a result of a good governance? No, it's a result of good governance, but it's not good governance. Ah, okay. I think so, but, but I want to identify how I get this result. Mm -hmm. Okay, so instead of, lab, instead of labeling, you know, not forget don't about good, good governance. Don't call it good governance. Yeah. Okay. So you want to, to, to see the good mobility, good housing, these kind of stuff? No, I want to say a good governance. <laughs> okay. Because it's not a good Yeah, but then, then, then you will have difficulty to find in the literature. But it doesn't matter. Just, okay. just, no, no, but just, the, the just communicate for the moment. It's tautological. You know, good governance leads to good governance. I, I, I want the, the elements management. Para fuera. Sante para fuera, metete para adentro. Oh, but I want okay. the, <laughs> the element management okay. to good governance. Okay. So, no, that's okay. You can say, okay, there are... Man management, yeah. good <laughs> governance, uh -huh. yeah. performance. I don't know mobility or 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 life quality of life or something like this. I mean mobility is here. No, I wanna. So you want to study this? You don't want to study no, this. Okay, so you want to study that link. Oh. So how do you <coughs> how do you get and, but what would you put under management? What we have, I I have read no? for example we have um, a man in Venezuela I don't know if you heard Leopoldo Lopez so he made a really good governance in the local government. What did he do, for example? Uh, he worked in get uh, transparency, transparency in government. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, people is prepared, yeah. is professional, the people okay. who Good. is working. Yeah. Yeah. The education, the, yeah. the public service. Okay, yeah. so, okay, so now we get he, this. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And he, he incentive uh, the public service. Okay. He and then he he focus in urban development uh, of the infrastructure okay. and he start with the um, urban mobility uh, and then uh, make attractive the local government to the um, to the in investment, yeah, private investment, private investment, okay. and also he he work with the social uh, social area. He build a schools, public schools, hospital. So I think he was success successful because. He knows the the management element. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would like to have like a guy with the management element. Mm -hmm. You know, so, because I have been working, for example, for six years in a public service. So really, we was reelected because of no, I don't know, but not because we have. <laughs> A management. So, so what's the question? Where is the no. management element for a good governance? What are the management elements? For a good government? For, for a good governance. 
instead of good job management, management gives you governance. Yeah. But where is the element to, act, to get pasas. this good management? You know the mayors? Most of the mayors, I don't know, but in Venezuela, they didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. So probably if there, there, there are people who, who know this. No, but it, can, it's about public management, basically. Yeah. So, so, I don't know, the effects of public management or modern public management or professional public management on... Governance. Good governance. I'm not even sure. On the performance of the city. No? You can, you can still do to, to, to the governance as well, you know. Transparency, accountability, what... You know what? What should a good manager? No, but then, then what should yeah, a good yeah. manager in the government? Mm -hmm. yes. So you you have to make yes. it clear in the government do in order to promote mm -hmm. the practice of good governance. Now to promote, you know, should should he be an authoritarian <laughs> person? You know, and you know, tell everyone to do what? What what, what kind of person he should be? Or you know. But because if you talk about management, then, then, then there are quite a lot of that. That that's much more structured, you know. Then you can go to the literature, find you know the functions that they should do, and then. No, but I mean we know about public man. I mean we know about public management. Okay. And you know there are things that are called new public management and modern public management, things like that. There's a whole literature exactly. in there. I mean, that, so 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 basically, it's modernizing the administration from an from an administrative thing to a modern management in the public sector. Most of that literature is at the nation state level. So okay. actually, now the interesting thing is modern public management at the urban level and and you know you could do a study of introducing modern management methods at the urban level you know and i don't know what consequences that has but this this has already this you can read in the literature yeah there's a lot of literature but because this is, case this is this is basically you know separating you know the mayor from being a politician to a professional manager. This is what you do with the council usually. No, you you have a very no, but just it's also mayor. inside. It's not just separating the political function from the managerial function. It's inside the managerial function. But you I, I, define all kind of accounting. You know, there are plenty of managerial yeah. methods. Yeah, IT management. IT. I mean, IT that, all this public management IT literature. IT literature IT you know. IT IT I, I yeah, just but, have a question. You know, Matthias, I mean, it, it will not be anything new. It's already there. No, no it's but not you can already. study the, the process of it's introducing that, that the difficulties of introducing. This is all American yes. literature. Could we how the management, yes. how the good man management influence the good goals? Well, no, right. because there is much subject. No, I prefer that, that you have. That, that's okay, but you know, I mean, I mean, it's if in I, the literature. If it's I will be a major, I really would like to have a document that. Let Say, me. Which, uh, like a guide. Like a guide. No, but, uh, okay, that, that, <laughs> I mean, you know, for a master, right. it's in the literature. For a it's master, you down, need you know? to read something, but, you know, you, you have to do the, you have to have the practical part as well. I mean, the research is, how do you implement that? I mean, how, the, how can, uh, I mean, that, that, what I said, you have this, this is all American literature that comes out of the private sector. The question is, how can you make it work in the public sector? Yes. You know, how, how is it implemented? How is it translated? The resistance, the problems, the, yeah, some of these concepts, I've, I've been teaching this stuff. Some of the concepts are not use, usable. I mean, there's a good idea, but it cannot translate, uh, it, it cannot Absolutely. translate it directly in the public sector. And, and I think it would be good to have some case studies but on exactly. Do you you said you were Practical working example. with someone who did this kind of stuff? Yeah. This mayor, which you said. He's a mayor from the city. 
from the other city, but he also write a book about uh -huh. how it made that work. Okay. Yeah. Transition to, you know, city introducing new public management in in a mm -hmm. city context of. So no, I think that yeah. that's a real problem. I mean that. And if they already wrote a book, you know, and you have access to it, then, then you have quite a lot of material to, to use. Mm -hmm. And then you can probably do a comparison, you know. Okay, here is the here is the academic literature, what they say. Here is what the guy says in the interview and wrote in his book or and are they aligned? Not aligned? What are the main no, differences? It's the same literature everywhere. So, you know, you have city A that can read the book and city B that can read the book. I mean, it's exactly the same. We know what good, we know what good public management is. It's all, you know. But some cities do it and some cities don't do it. Why? Yes. Why? 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 What, no, are, what are the reasons why? He, he said, you know, the guy wrote a book yes. on that. Yeah. You know, yeah. if, if he's sharing his own experience, then that book is not the, the normal public management one. No, but if that's he, that, that he, he is probably looking at, at all yeah. the problems that arose when you were, uh, trans, you know, implementing that kind of yeah. management principles. Well, I, I, I like because. Mm, most of the people say that the, the local government that he was mayor is a rich uh, municipality. But before he arrived there, nobody do anything. So it doesn't matter if the municipality has or, or no money. It's about how you implement, implement our management. Okay. What? What's your main concern? Is about management or about governance? No. Or about the link between both? Yeah. The, the link if, between management or is something like it's really because I think good management could be good governance or uh, it doesn't matter if you don't mm -hmm. have I think those are topics very um, big they are linked already and I think the way you pose your question could be in the way of the public management or in the way of governance I, I, I wouldn't go into governance it's too abstract at this exactly point. so you have to take one them. Yeah, and, and, and you also focus on your management. experience as an engineer in public management mm -hmm. and your experience as an engineer too. No, as, as, a a man, a, a, as a management. Management, but as but an engineer. In the urban development, exactly. <coughs> it would be public, public management in urban development. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He wants to kick us out or what? Yeah. So but please make sure that the door will be closed. Okay. No, but I think... That, that's oh. the topic, so now I pose the question to you. The topic is urban public management. I mean, how to professionalize the management of cities. I think that's a big issue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the big, the big cities are professionally like managed, but the, but I think the majority of the cities are not really professionally managed. Even though we have all the literature, we know everything that should be done, everything, you know, the, the reality is that <laughs> there's a huge work and, 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 and what are the good ingredients, why, how, under what conditions, what does it take, uh, what does it take to, to have good public management? I think yeah. that's that's can, you can take a case study or two case studies or one city you say two cities one city what? that failed one city yeah. that does why what's the what's the difference why yeah. why does it work here why does it there leadership plays certainly a role you know I mean there there, there is a lot of literature but most of the literature does not really focus on the city it's about the national public administration all the the public management literature is really national public administration literature. 
And so that, that there, is an, there is an interesting contribution. But then you will have a big part of literature. Yeah. Which is, which is good and useful, you know, you, you, you can do a big and, literature. And you can do two cases. Yes, yeah, and two cases and, you know, do, do, do some justification, you know. Okay, and at the end, you know, you said you, you would like to have a manual. Now, here, here, is, the, here is the abstract manual and, yeah. you know, I, I modify it a little bit based on the context, you know, the good cases, bad cases, you know, this, this probably does not work or you should take care of this, you know, to make it work. So you have a modified version of the manual that Robin was talking, you know, yeah. and it would be useful. But look at urban public management or something yeah. like that, or public management in the city context. Or I don't think there is that much. Of the, I mean, it's all. I, I, I was a professor of you know management of public enterprises before, and and this is the this is all of the context of introducing private sector management methods into the public sector that that that's what i mean it, in europe it was a europe and the us it was a big phenomenon of the late 80s of the 90s and and even there there are huge problems i mean you have a, you have a private sector management uh, you try to bring it into the government state administration, but it's not straightforward. I mean, many of these principles cannot be applied. Even leadership. Leadership is very good in the private sector. You, you do leadership in a political context. That's a different thing, because the politicians think they are the leaders. They don't, they don't want the administrators to be leaders. You know, I mean, you, plenty of these things cannot easily be translated. The public administration is totally different from the... Right, right. Yeah, but 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 at the same time, you need to modernize the public administration. And where where do you look when you modernize? You look to the private yeah, sector. Yes. Yeah. So so. <clears throat> yes. So I think it's you know it's, I think you have a dual challenge. I mean, that there is a challenge of transfer, of transferring private sector management methods into the public sector, and then there is a challenge of translating all that stuff that has been done at the national level to translate it to the urban, to the city level. And, and, and so we are not, uh, you know, I mean, cities, uh, the, the literature will tell you that cities are not really, really well managed. Maybe some big cities that really have the money, but most of the cities, you know, no, no, no. so the one million, half a million people, I mean, this is chaos. It's unprofessional. It's, uh, mm -hmm. so, so I think there is a big... <clears throat> I mean, it, it, it's a good contribution. Okay. Good. Okay. Muy bien, señorita. Where's the reason? Okay. I'm building my question. <laughs> <laughs> but I know how, how is my research. And I think that that's important. I'm going to talk about how for poor people. The people speaks about habitat, and in my last <coughs> 25 years, I had to work about housing for the people, and I'm trying to design houses and urbanizations. And the first time we speak about space, the short space, the most spot, the most short space in the house for economy, 
for the people can pay the houses, etc., etc. And in Cali, in Colombia, the indoor space are 38 meters, square meters for a house. And family has 4.2 people on average. And public space is the 21% of the gross plan. Okay. What, what is public space? What is? Yeah, what, what you call the public space. Okay, this is a place for the urbanites. Oh, okay. And the 21. Okay. okay. Of it's public space. It's and the public all, the, space. all the other, all the rest is private houses and gardens. And Gard, gardens and. and okay. okay. Okay? Okay. We say this is the space that the people can pay. I say that it's few. Small. Yeah, small. But the last week, I saw the Hong Kong <laughs> example. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in crisis. How much is in Hong Kong? Nine square oh. meters for three in the family. Okay. You, you're living in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Do you think that they live in the paradise? Okay, this, this is the film. And what we did, did we learn yesterday? 50% of the population in Hong Kong lives above the 15th floor. Mm -hmm. They don't live on the ground. Here, the floor. Yeah. In this neighborhoods, there are problems with security, criminality, all the social problems that may be in a, in a neighborhood in these conditions. What about this? I don't know what happened in other in, in, in mainland and in China. I'm, I'm going to, to go to Peking in two weeks. I'm going to try to, to know how the people live in these places. Probably the same or, 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 worst. or the worst. And, and there are any questions, any important questions first. Okay, now your research question. Hmm? Your research question. Yes. <laughs> In Barcelona, New York, the public space is the 35%. In the city, all the city. And I very development cities. One of my questions 
is. They want to have 15 square meters by each people, by each one. But if, if you look at the, the buildings, the space is not around yeah. the, city, the, the, the buildings. It's the mountains and other places. This is any, this is a good organization. Have this city good conditions for, for the people? And why, my question. In, in, in Colombia, in, in Medellin, there are buildings about 20 and 30 floors. I don't like it. Really, I don't like it. But the people think that it is the solution. I I am I'm going to try to research about this and write why this is not a good solution okay. for, for house. my for housing. For housing in, in Colombia. In Colombia. Okay, but now you already have the answer. You, you see, you say, I don't like it, uh, this is not a good solution, so, so what is the research? How to prove it? <clears throat> I mean, it's not a research question, I mean, you... You, you have you, strong arguments? I yeah, but to, then I the research question is why is it not a good solution? No. What what are the reasons why what 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 are the problems with this? You know, yes. and, and, or, or something it, like this. This is a research question, but yes, but, but. I, I, I I think I think, but I'm not sure. Really, why this is a solution? Why there are other countries that are trying to build this. I'm reviewing the, uh, the magazines on uh, UN and Habitat. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I need the, 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 the book from, from Istanbul, if you can send it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you see, that is a different question. I mean, the question, you can ask the question, why do things like this exist? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, why, why does that exist? And then you, you probably have a multitude of reasons. Lack of space, developers who make a lot of money, you make probably more money like this than there. You know, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> there's probably a combination of reasons why we get to that kind of situation. And not one single reason. But that doesn't add, if you ask the question like this, that doesn't answer why it's good or bad. It just tells you why, why you why have it. it. So... I think, I, I like the question that Matthias said. Why this is not a good option of quality of life at the cities? That, I like that question. For your research. Not, not for, about quality of life, about housing. Yeah. Why is this not a good option? No, I don't know. It, 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 you have to define, it's not a good option for what? You know, if you have seven million people to park on thousand square kilometers, uh -huh. do you maybe that's the only option yes. you have, you know? I, yes. I don't know. Or maybe you could say, even with seven million on, on thousand square kilometers, you could have found a better option if you put more money, uh, you had less, I don't know what, but but... There, there's a limitation, you know, to, to what you can do. Uh, you the, the, the why, why, why in Hong Kong? 1,000 square kilometers. 1,000. Why in Hong Kong? Okay. But they still have 70% um, of the space. And why not space? near to Hong Kong? Yeah. Another 70? 70? I think that was by the, 
Like, this, Yucca and, and this was China. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's, but the tendency of the world is to densify. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the. But, but maybe then Hong Kong is not the right place to study. You see? I mean, because you can say, you know, you have places like Hong Kong and Singapore, and you have so many million people, you have so much space, period. Okay? But I think the question is to ask cities where you actually have space. Yes. And why do they still do this? Yes. You know? <clears throat> I mean... Medellin in Colombia have a sufficient space. Yeah. So why do you still do this? Yes. I'm not sure. Because in Guadalajara metropolitan area we have exactly that problem. Because government has the responsibility to invest, to to, to give citizens ser public services. So it's more money that they must have to invest, that they that they need to invest in a city where where houses are mm -hmm. separate, separate yeah. than if houses are yeah. there. So for example, there's a, a new neighborhood and they need something, but that's the reason we are ready city. Okay? Okay. The city, that's exactly the reason. Because the city is like a spread and government needs more money to give uh, more Service. services for all it's the people. Not necessarily instead, really. of, instead of uh, put the money uh, um, yeah. in it's, less It's space. not necessarily really. But, but, okay, but you, I mean, you have to start from where you, I mean, you don't, you don't think it's a good idea to replicate that in Colombia. That, that's, that's this the is start. A, it's not really good. Okay, good. Now, now. No, but, but what about this? Yeah, but now, now then, then, I mean, you want to write the work? Maybe it, it can say, which is the best model for Cali about yeah. housing? Yeah. For house, social okay, housing. good. Okay, Kali yeah. is what? How many million inhabitants? Two and a half. Okay, two and a half. You have a certain surface, something like this. So much public space. I don't know what. You find three other cities that are comparable in the world. You know, so many million people, so much space. You you will probably find. Like what? Like so. I don't know. I, you, you know. I mean, it's even in Latin America, you will already find it's easier to compare. Hmm? And then you can sort of say, okay, they do this, they do this, do they do this, or they all do the same. You know? They are not doing nothing. <laughs> and and or, why? And why? Why are they all doing the same? Or what, how come that you can, in exactly the same, you can do this? And what are the conditions? Why do they do different things? Different policies, different developers, different citizen movements, different political party, I don't know, different money. I, I, I you know. Uh, Latin America has a, a cultural problem that uh, people like auto-construction. Self-construction. Uh, self Self-construction. Yeah. Self Excuse me. Yeah, but that right. doesn't work in these buildings. I think it's not very American that it works in English. No. No, it was... Self-construction. Why? This may work here, but it yes. will not work. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, uh, in, in Mexico, uh, the university, the National University, UNAM, uh, made uh, some studies uh, with people, self-obstruction, and the others, no? The, the Infonavit and the other institu institutions. As people don't like because don't like to be <coughs> in that uh, uh, apartment. apartment. They want to live. It's not important that uh, maybe in, in ten years uh, build your house. But is your house, is, is big house, is it where, where I want? In, I, I don't know, I, I never meet my, uh, my neighbor, I don't know. It's, it's different uh, ch uh, lifestyle, no? Okay. It's cultural, it's, it's, it's uh, interesting to serve to that. Okay, but I think we're getting tired a little bit. So, so what is the question now? <laughs> I mean, uh, this is good, but but. No, but I think I think you know, 
I think you have you have the clear idea, but maybe yeah. we, we don't understand it yet. No, we but understand the idea. We just don't. Yeah, we you know, try we, to translate it into a question. Yeah. Yes. Which yes. Is a very so it's it's it's, yeah. it's about as as you found the right word right now. You know, industrial building. Yeah. Okay, Colin needs industrial building, no. but. But which model, as you were talking, which model yeah. should be replicated? You know, they they will have some positive and negative impact. So you can you probably want to do an assessment. I don't know, an assessment of all the negative impacts of this high rise. Just just to protect the Kali from replicating the same the same mistake, because there will be industrial building, but it will be four levels as you put this line. You no. Know? Maybe you do four level industrial buildings, five level industrial buildings, based on an analysis that you do from the cases. I don't know, picking no, and here or no, but you could you could I mean from there you can okay, it's good like this. You can ask different questions. You can sort of say, okay, what are the pros and the cons of industrial buildings? That could be a research question. Okay. Or you can say, you know, <coughs> The big tendency in the world today is industrial buildings. In Istanbul, in everywhere, is industrial buildings. And then the research question is, is yes, there yes. an alternative to industrial building, and what is it? Yes, you know, and yes. it's something like this, yeah, I mean, depending what, what, how you want to formulate. Maybe the second one is more clear, you know, there seems to be a universal trend towards industrial building. But what are the social, alternatives? For social are there accounts, alternatives? Yes. The, the cost <laughs> is better to build uh, a density oh, okay. for the government. If, if, you, if you want to you have two examples of the different questions. I, I, please. Because the service, you don't have to. Uh, Build for any for each house, you know. Oh, and the service. And you have one and house is here for ten houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, and you know that is 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 it construction? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but but I mean. Yes. The, the, no, wait, wait. We, we no, we yeah. have to finish because of, I yes. mean. So so so. <laughs> I, I think, I mean, unless you are, you're already happy with it, but, but I think you can say, okay, there is a general trend towards industrial buildings worldwide. And they actually all look the same. Here they have a little bit more colors than in Istanbul, I think, but they're probably the same, you know. Uh, and, and so, <clears throat> so is there an alternative to this general trend in, in industrial buildings? So you look at some cases where there are alternatives, or where they have tried to alternatives and they have failed, or something something like this, and 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 then then you come to a come, can come to a conclusion. Yes, there is an alternative under this and this and this circumstance. A lot of space. I don't know what. A lot of money. Uh, and a lot of people protest. I I don't know. There may. <laughs> But, you know, the general trend will probably be towards industrial bu buildings, unless, you know, there are some very particular conditions under which... Yeah, not, not being focused just in Cali. Yeah. In, in cities with this character. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, not just in Cali. I, it, I mean, it's a general phenomenon. Yes. Yeah, same architect, well, same thing, it's the same, I mean... Yeah, but, yes. but, but again, this, this feasibility, because... Miguel is already overwhelmed with his own job, I think. So it should be something which they want to implement in Cali. Yeah, yeah. I guess, no? But you can you, find but, three other cities in yeah, Latin America. Exactly, but, but the focus will be something which is relevant to Cali, you know? Yeah, 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 you, sure. want, you want to find an answer for your question in Cali. Yeah. Yeah. In Russian building for Cali, then, then how should it look like? But, but what if that... That thesis can uh, be useful in sure. our city. Right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's okay, Miguel? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay.
industrial teaching. <laughs> And when I was uh, made my the paper for the uh, reading the lecture for Hong Kong, I read that uh, series. I, I'm not an uh, architect and I'm an urban planner in this moment, okay? I am a socialist. <laughs> 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 yes. uh, big series is the responsibility for the uh, global warming. Global cities in the all the cities in the world, many cities, not big cities. But I don't know. I need to. It's true or false? I don't know. I need to search if I want uh, to do something. If it's true or it's not true, no, it's not important for me. Uh, cities, uh, may, uh, a lot of cities in the world, ground without planning. Yes, without. Uh, People come fast and don't, don't see this nothing. And uh, the urban systems in the cities uh, grow uh, like people come, like uh, cities uh, have uh, money, all the, all the items, no? Tra mobility, use of land, uh, economy, etc., etc. My question, the question I want to answer with the, with the thesis is, um, can the efficient management of the urban um, mm. system reduce the global warming? It's a okay. very, very um, uh, not concrete, no? No concrete question, but I think that uh, if I have a case, a specific case, uh, I try to interview an expert, no? uh, global, uh, World Bank, I, uh, okay. and find uh, two examples, uh, the, man the good management and bad management, and try to invest uh, two cases if, uh, if reduce or uh, increase the um, carbon Footprint. Yes, carbon footprint. Carbon footprint. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, to this case uh, uh, would be measurables. Uh, should be measurables yeah, be for for the uh, analysis. And uh, maybe uh, allow me to do the projection in uh, maybe in a country. Uh, I try to understand if uh, it's possible or not. Okay. The question is can or can okay. This is a question. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. it, it is, uh, no, I think I, I, the I situation think. the situation is that <clears throat> probably I mean the, the cities contribute to global warming. Yes. Now, and from there you can, and they probably contribute disproportionately yes. to global warming. More than we More than the control. countryside, yes. you know. Now, I mean, it is a huge question, you know. It's a, you have to somehow make it, yes. make it, make it doable. Um, Why I think, uh, and in this because. Uh, like uh, in Colombia, Transmillennium. No? Uh, Transmillen when Transmillennium was implemented, reduced 90% of the emissions. Yeah, but 90%? 90% is, oh. is, is uh, uh, a high percentage. Oh, yeah. No, it's super it's, high. It's, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And, and reduce the accidents, and reduce the other. Okay. Uh, uh, for me, it's if, it's in in city like Mexico City. So probably your question would be how public transport affect on this on no. the large no, urban cities. No, 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 Integrated system, transport system, no? Yeah. Uh, no. 
and maybe if uh, if uh, reduce if, uh, if, if it has a um, good management or well management uh, reduce the the effects uh, the carbon effects and maybe if uh, don't yeah, protect your maybe your maybe urban maybe. Air, your uh, urban forest maybe reduce other maybe, no? it's maybe the if if you uh, the the is, oh, it is no. it is uh, the, the theory is if if it's we but, but management all the all the urban but, systems. But what is the question? I mean, you could but, say you could say you could look at cities, you know, mm -hmm. that have reduced carbon emission. I mean, there is already a lot. I mean, yes, there yes. are cities that yes. there's a coalition of cities and all. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and I'm sure there are already a lot of statistics that yes. you can say, you know, mm -hmm. Beijing increased by so much, uh, London remained stable, yes. I don't know, Stockholm went down, you know, so, uh, that you, you can probably look at these things. And then, then you need to make it comparable because Stockholm go down because the population go down, Beijing go up because the population, yes. you know, I mean, there's... Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe it could be um, their responsibility of urban governments in the global warming. I no. think, I think that uh, mm -hmm. if I want to do something, mm -hmm. I need to to have measurable. Uh, uh, but but what? No? For, okay, yes. let's let no, let let me thing. ask differently. Uh -huh. You're writing this for whom? Uh -huh. Who should read your your master's thesis at the end? The the, the the mayors, the, the national governments. No, I, I am collaborating with the World Bank in uh, okay, in the World Bank. Okay, the World Bank is collaboration for development. Uh -huh. Okay, and maybe I interview uh, my teachers or my professors that uh, uh, they they must know uh cases uh, successful cases and uh, worst cases no i'm sure you find i mean i don't think that's very difficult you will find success stories you will find disasters i mean all that exists in the literature you don't have to make any research for that i mean okay but then once you you have that then what is the question you want to ask why they became successful why they why they failed what did they do uh, what did the other ones not do you know it's late to do something, or we can to do something late. Yes. Yes. We, we need uh, you know, to let, do something. Let me, let me urban policy. No, we already we already know that if if we increase the public transport, yeah, then the carbon only, footprint only, will increase. Only, will will only, decrease. Yeah. You we know. know. So there, are, you know, the the things that you can do. If you do, you know, you have transport. You have. The, the consumers of the energy transport yeah. buildings mainly yes. in the city yeah. okay so you have to do better buildings you have to do better public transport yeah. these are the two things that Since you should basically do and then you have the industry but you know that's a little bit out of the yeah. control of the city so the, the, the first thing is that okay these are the two actions mm -hmm. so what's the next step that you want to ask you want to ask what the city government should do in order to make better buildings? This is this is what Matthias is asking. You know, you can do the research, and then you will see that okay, these are the two actions that they yeah. usually do. Mm -hmm. But then, how do they do these kind of things? My question is this: If, if I reduce with uh, uh, good transport systems, mm -hmm. uh, forty percent, okay, and I add other uh, reduce in other in other urban system uh, okay. maybe I is, I add sixty uh, percent or so yes no, or not okay but then but okay but if you if you can ask this question I mean because I, how, in, in a how, what you could ask what is a realistic or uh, yes. optimistic or sort of maximum what is the maximum reduction of greenhouse gases yes. a city can get to you know yes. if they do the best in transport they build a lot of uh, green yeah. roofs oh, they, oh, yes. they you know so, sort of how far can oh, how far can they go you know yeah. and, and 
and I mean, you could make a nice curve, you know, and so sort of at some point the cost of doing it will be exorbitant. I mean, the marginal increase of greenhouse gas reduction will be in no yeah, relation but, to but the cost. But, exactly. but that's that's that that needs quite a lot of data. Needs a lot of data, yeah. But you you were asking, you were talking about the interviews. Yes. So I thought you you know if if you want to do quality. You know, you, you do qualitative basically to answer usually how questions. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Be because it's Sometimes why also, but you know, how, how is yes, very I, I big. How did I they do it? Concrete, the, concrete the idea, no? Mm -hmm. But uh, how do you think about the... Oh. Yes, it was. I, I, I want to search about the global warming and the cities. Okay. The, the, the no, I think that to, that is a good topic. You just... And, and I think, I mean, we have probably a lot of information research all, already that is quite descriptive. Cities pollute that much, uh, the cities do, you can do this, you can, you know, they, I, I think this is all out more or less, you don't invent anything. I mean, like Mohamed said, we know that, that buildings are 30%, transport is another 30%, you know. It's, yes. But I think the big challenge for that, that is interesting for us is, is how do you reduce? How do you get the city to? Now, what 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 happened that they really yeah. go to this to these kind yeah. of buildings? You know, I, I I read I read an article about Aust Austria. Yeah. You know, they Austria? do yeah, yeah they do passive houses. Yeah. You know, so they exp they were trying to explain how yes. this agenda of you know passive houses was successful. Yeah. And then they said that okay, the governments decide on that, Probably but then they bring some, policy, yeah. they bring some intermediaries, and these intermediaries were built, you know, yeah. from the developers, the governments, the the financing sector. These intermediaries take the initiative, you know, do this, do this. Yeah. You know, it it was quite a nice description of how this this idea that okay, we want to reduce, you know, the carbon footprint mm -hmm. yes. in the in the houses, but then how? And they explain, you know, what was the process. You can probably do the same, you know, for, for other cities. I know Vienna has done this kind of stuff for the buildings. Stockholm, maybe. But you yeah. can find it's the... the how that is yeah. interesting. Yes. Find the cities that do that and then ask and the how, how question. Do they do it? How do they yes, do it? Yes. Because, you know, in Switzerland, we have, you have maybe heard, we have this big thing, ETH Zurich came up with this big thing, 2,000 watt society, you mm -hmm. know? That, that every inhabitant consumes 2,000 watt of energy and you can have the exact same quality of life. Currently we consume about yes. 8,000 watt, yes. American about 16,000 yes. watt, okay? Yes. They don't have a better quality of life for yes. that, okay? So, so ETH, they made this thing, you can go down to 2,000 watt and you still have a perfect quality of life. How come we don't do that if it can be done? And how come certain cities do it and certain cities don't? Yes. You know, and, and you know, I mean, well, wow. Did you know the project of uh, 22 row in Barcelona? No. It's, it's a very interesting project. Mm. I was uh, uh, search about this because uh, all the industrial. Uh, uh, Catalonia is the, is the fabric of. Uh, fabric? Is this a word? Fabric. Is the. Factory? In fact, when I when I want to speak, it's more easy to write. Uh, it is the factory of Spain. Catalonia is a factory of uh, Barcelona. Is a factory of Catalonia. Uh, they uh, have a plan uh, for the industrial area. Uh, they name it Ventidos Arroba. is is a symbol of the development plan. And they, they try to uh, implement, uh, well, they are implementing, this is plan of seven or four years, implementing uh, in innovative uh, um, searches, uh, innovative, innovative things, innovative uh, universities uh, working these. Yeah, the development plan to. Yeah, but also to research. To search. And uh, they increase the the incomes, increase the you know, the the, the, the budget, all, all things in this in this area, 
and in uh, energy they um, buy to the um, thermoelectrica mm -hmm. yeah the the uh, hot water uh, they, they uh, before they uh, go to the ocean to yeah. the sea and uh, uh, goes to uh, now uh, this weather goes to the hot pots. Yeah. In, in sure. Yeah, yeah. But and this is. A I, I, I try. I, I think that. Uh, but you should look. You should a look. A lot of situations. You should look. There is. There, there is a big literature. That it's something that is called industrial ecology. Uh -huh. Yes. You know, basically that takes and and it is urban. Industrial ecology is urban. Generally, it's not the whole yes, city, yes, but it's a yes, part of the city. Yes, yes where basically they try to recycle everything. You know, you, the, waste, the waste of one factory becomes the heat of the next factory, and, and it's all to sort of use, use this, the, the city as a, as a closed system. You know, you recycle, you, it's called industrial ecology. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, we, we are all tired, but... Um, but, but Maybe yes. that's, an in, that's an interesting... Yes, uh, 22 Arroba is a cultural industry like uh, the professor yesterday mm -hmm. showed us show because uh, a lot of designers and other uh, yeah. cultural... But it's a little bit another question yes, than yes, what you're asking. Yes, it's, uh, I think that uh, those projects is uh, little projects in different yeah. parts of the world, no? Yeah, but we are. I think you're, you're interested in your. You're more interested in the big picture. Yes. You know, in the sense. Okay. What? I mean, a city. City. I, I need to concrete the idea. Yeah. Well, so in which? Well, how did they do it? Why? You know. What? what yes. For one for, for the reason. I mean, um, you have to select the cities. Yes. I, I search out. Okay. I think we. Everybody's tired now. <laughs> But I think it was it, it was useful to to really want.